Now, the BBC News at one o'clock with Ben Brown. Today at one, the Metropolitan Police say their officers suffered horrific injuries in yesterday's sword attack in Hainault. A suspect was eventually tasered and arrested after the murder of a 14-year-old boy. It's now known a female police officer suffered serious hand injuries. A woman officer who's really badly damaged arm, really seriously damaged, and the, the surgeon spent sort of many, many hours sort of basically putting her arm back together. Good afternoon. The police officers wounded in a sword attack in Hainault yesterday suffered horrific injuries, according to the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Sir Mark Rowley. He says one of the officers came close to losing her hand and she's had several hours of surgery. A 14-year-old boy was killed in the attack. It's now emerged he went to the same school as Grace O'Malley Kumar, one of the victims of the Nottingham stabbings last year. Graham Satchel has this report. Devastation this morning at Bancroft School in East London and confirmation that one of their students, a 14-year-old boy, was killed in the sword attack yesterday. It's the second time in less than a year that Bancroft's is in mourning for one of its own. Former student Grace O'Malley Kumar, who was killed in a knife attack in Nottingham, was also a student here. The final moments of yesterday's terrible attack were captured on a doorbell camera. The 36-year-old man still carrying a sword is cornered and Met Police officers move in. A taser is fired and then a female officer approaches and again uses a taser and the man falls to the ground. Police were on the scene in 12 minutes and detained the suspect 22 minutes after that. The bravery of the emergency services was extraordinary. Here, an officer confronts the suspect just feet away at this point, one person is already dead and a number of others injured. You've got officers running towards someone who's waving a sword. What they do is absolutely extraordinary and it's a privilege to, to work with them and lead them. Come here! Drop the sword! Two officers who tried to stop the man ended up with serious injuries. One nearly lost her hand. Lock your doors! Lock your doors! I was talking to the um, family and colleagues of the um, uh, of the officer, woman officer who's really badly damaged arm, really seriously damaged, and the, the surgeon spent sort of many, many hours sort of basically putting her arm back together. One eyewitness who didn't want to be filmed described the moment of the attack. Police were on their way, sirens, you could hear the sirens come in, um, and then he started shouting about God and whether you believe in God and things like that. I came out my house to go to help the boy as I know him and his family. As I came out, he literally was five feet away from me on the left. So when I saw him, I went straight back inside my house. I wasn't sure if he'd been detained or anything like that. The investigation into the events of yesterday morning will focus on the man now in hospital and under arrest. Police have yet to interview him, but have said this wasn't a targeted attack or terrorism related. Today, a school and a whole community is trying to understand why a 14-year-old boy lost his life in the most horrific way. Graham Satchel, BBC News. A 17-year-old boy has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder after three people were injured at a secondary school in South Yorkshire. A child was assaulted and two adults suffered minor injuries at the Burley Academy in Sheffield this morning. We can get the latest now from our correspondent, Nick Garnett, who's outside the school for us. Um, Nick, what more can you tell us about what happened? Well, police were called after an incident at around 10 to 9. They say it involved a sharp object. Now, we understand that school registration at the, here at the school starts at around half past eight. The school, which is for 11 to 16-year-olds, went to, into its planned lockdown procedures uh, and all parents were informed and the children were allowed to go home and all the children are now safe. A 17-year-old boy, as you said, has been arrested uh, on, attempt, on, a, on attempted murder, remains in police custody at the moment. Now, you can see the police car behind me. That's going to stay here 
all day throughout. The Education Secretary, Gillian Keegan, has said she's very disturbed at what she's had. The Prime Minister mentioned this as well during Prime Minister's questions today. Now, Daniel Kabedi, who is the General Secretary of the Teachers' Union, the NEU, has also been talking. He said two teachers and a pupil were injured. He says the government has to recognise the scale of the problem that's going on and adopt a health approach to tackling youth violence. OK, Nick, thank you very much. Nick Garnett reporting.